The Hungarians of Central Europe have a fascinating history. In modern times, most reside in the nation of Hungary, though many reside in the countries surrounding it. These Hungarians have not always lived in Central Europe, however. Their origins are away from the plains of the Pannonian Basin, to a far-off land close to the Ural Mountains, thousands of kilometers away from Budapest. Over many years they would migrate west before finally crossing the Carpathian Mountains into their new homeland. Not all Hungarians left, however. There were some that stayed behind, opting to continue their way of life where they had always been. With centuries now past, this new Hungarian state in Central Europe wondered about their long-lost brothers in the East, and with Rome, they wished to Christianize them. In an adventure that would change history's account of the Hungarians, Friar Julian and three others set out to find these long-lost Magyars. This is the story of their journey and the Eastern Hungarians. It was the year 1234 AD that this group of friars set out from the Kingdom of Hungary. Their mission, to discover where this territory was and to convert the Hungarian pagans who had stayed behind to the Christian faith. The friars' first stop on their journey was the ancient Greek town of Matrega on the Taman Peninsula. A town settled by Greeks fleeing from Ionia after the conquests of Cyrus the Great, it resided right on the coast. There they would stay for several months before further venturing on their journey. They would next enter the land of the Alans, with their kingdom in the North Caucasus and the flat land to its north, a nation in the coming years which would almost be completely wiped out by the Mongols. They would stay for almost half a year, and their writings citing the nearby threat of the Tartars. In this we can almost be certain that these were the Mongols invading lands west of the Volga River. It was in the winter that these Mongol forces retreated to the east, letting two of the friars, Julian and Gerard, carry on. Only weeks after, however, Gerard would die in a town that is still unknown to this day. It was not long following Gerard's death that Friar Julian reached the capital city of the great Volga Bulgaria, Biliar, or the Great City. This city was one of the most populous in all of the Volga area, known to the Kievan Rus and other neighbors. This city's ruins in modern times resides in Tatarstan. When at the capital, Julian was told by an eastern Hungarian woman that resided there that the people he was looking for lived in an area two days' trek away. In what direction? We have no idea. It was then that Friar Julian set out once again in hopes of finding these eastern Magyars. With a short time passing, he reached the land of Magna Hungaria. Even centuries apart from one another, Julian said he could still communicate with these eastern Hungarians. The best approximate location we have of these people is around modern-day Bashkortostan. He was welcomed by these people, and stayed for a time before heading back west to Hungary and Rome to tell his findings. Over the years, many Middle Eastern and European scholars associated the Magyars with the Bashkirs. This couldn't have been the case because the Bashkirs speak a Turkic language, but there was likely a large number of Magyars in that nation. This is one of the major findings which help us better pinpoint the location of this eastern Hungarian state, though not perfect. Julian set out on his second voyage sometime in 1236 or 37. Through word of mouth on his journey, he would learn of the destruction of these eastern Magyars by the hands of the Mongolians. Because of this destruction, he changed his plans and gathered as much info as he could about the Mongol invasion force and their tactics. All which would be of little use, it seemed, right away, as the Mongols obliterated the Hungarian kingdom in their first invasion attempt. At this point, he also met with the Grand Duke Vladimir of the Kievan Rus. In this meeting, he would learn of the Mongols' plan of the invasion of the Hungarian kingdom, as well as the ultimatum from Batu Khan. Not long after this, Friar Julian returned to give the Hungarian king the news, afterwards never venturing east again to search for the people he had once met. This will be the last we hear of the Eastern Hungarians, and with it closes a chapter on one of the most fascinating stories of the Middle Ages. If you love videos like this, be sure to check out my Patreon and other videos on the channel. It will help me make videos like this more often. I couldn't produce such a detailed video without the works of Roman Hautala, 
and Arnold Toynbee, so be sure to check out their research.